In these problems, we're doing some subtraction using integers or whole numbers and fractions. And there's some tricks you should learn about this. One way you could do this, although it's kind of a lot of work, is convert this into thirds. I would multiply this um, by 3 over 3, and I would get 12 thirds there. 12 thirds minus 1 third would be 11 third. So 12 thirds minus 1 third would be 11 thirds. And then I could convert that back. Let's see how many threes would go in there. Three times three is nine and two thirds. So that would be, whoops, three and two thirds. <clears throat> the other way you could do this is say, okay, I've got this whole number four and I've got this fraction. This fraction is less than a one. So I know it's gonna be three and something. So I just put the three down here and what I've get, got left here is one minus one third. Well, if I take away one third from a whole, I would have two thirds left and I get two-thirds. That's the way to kind of do it in your head. So if that works for you, give it a shot. Let's look at this next one. Eight minus three and one-fourth. To do this in my head, I would, I'm would i gonna do the eight minus three first. That would give me five. And then f five minus one-fourth, well, it's gonna be four and something. So I'll put the four down here and that leaves the one minus one-fourth. Well, one minus one-fourth is gonna be three-fourths and I get four and three-fourths. If you want to do this the long way, let's convert everything to fourths. Eight in fourths would be eight times four is 32 fourths. Three, let's convert this mixed number into a, an improper fraction. Three times four is 12 plus one is three. That would be 13 fourths. And then I would do my subtraction. And what would I get here? <clears throat> that would be 19 fourths. And let's see how many fours in there. Four times four is 16, so that would be four, and that would leave me three-fourths. And lo and behold, I get the same thing as I got here. All right, let's do another one. Ah, word problem. It says there were six whole pies on the shelf. The server took five and a third pies. So that sounds like you had six, you subtracted five and a third. How many pies were left on the shelf? Well. 6 minus 5 leaves 1, so 1 minus a third, well, if you take a third away from a whole, you just get two-thirds of a pie left. That's how to do it kind of in your head. If you want to do it the long way, convert everything to thirds. 6 times 3 is 18 thirds. Let's see, 5 times 3 is 15 plus 1 is 16 minus 16 thirds. 18 minus 16, two-thirds. Same answer. So that's a little bit about subtracting fractions from whole numbers.